So we launched about uh, two years ago into uh, looking at how digital transformation is uh, going to uh, create a, a, a managerial uh, innovation into into large corporations. And by digital transformation, we meant how all these digital technology are affecting the business, uh, large businesses in particular, uh, around the world. To do that, we came up with a concept of digital maturity. So in other words, we were trying to understand what makes firm uh, do this transformation better than others. Uh, and we came out with two important uh, separate but related uh, dimension. One was obviously the level of investment that goes into these, this corporation in terms of mobility, in terms of social media and so on and so forth. But more importantly, we also found a second dimension which is more the soft side uh, of the transformation which was more around the transformation management itself. So in other words, the way that this company were leveraging this uh, digital investment in the corporation, which is all around the leadership and vision governance, engagement of the organization and so on. And basically when you put these two dimensions together, the people that do both well uh, came into a category that we call digiratis, which were the people that we really were the pioneers uh, and are the pioneers of today uh, in terms of, of digital transformation. So that was the first year and then based on this, on this concept of digital maturity, we went one step further, try to really understand, okay, now that we understand what this, this company do well, can we quantify uh, what they do and in particular we wanted to establish uh, is there a financial performance reward from doing digital transformation well. So that was the first purpose of the second phase of the research. The second part was obviously um, the, there will be differences by sectors and, and verticals and we wanted to really try to understand what is the maturity of these various sectors and are they sectors where you have to do it and sectors where you can wait uh, a few years to do that. And thirdly, uh, and more importantly, we wanted to really dissect uh, a little bit what is it that these digirati, these digital leaders do very well and try to understand uh, not a, a cookie cutter approach, but at least the patterns of what they do well so we can replicate for other clients and other industries. So that basically constituted the, uh, the, the free objective of the second phase and I will let George uh, describe in more detail the, the output of that. Hi everyone, I'm George Westerman from MIT's Center for Digital Business. I'm happy to share the findings of uh, two years of research into how technologies are changing large companies around the world. Year one, we did a lot of interviews. We interviewed 157 people in 50 companies to understand what's happening. And we found out that most of these companies are already doing amazing things, but some are doing better than others. We identified this group of companies called the Digirati that are not only doing more with technology, but they're leading the change better. So that was year one. And year two, what we've done is done a survey. 391 companies answered this survey and we're finding very clearly that this digital maturity idea, it matters. Digital maturity matters because the Digirati, that 25% of companies that are doing this right, they are 26% more profitable than their industry averages in every industry. Number two, we're finding that it doesn't matter what industry you're in, digital maturity matters. So every company, every industry, whether it be insurance or retail or manufacturing or pharma or high tech, every single industry we studied has Digirati in it. So that means that somebody, whatever industry you're in, somebody is already gaining that digital advantage. And if you're not there, you've got a couple of years of effort to get up to where they are. So now's a good time to start. And then the third thing we found is how do you get started? We took a look at the Digirati and found some common patterns in how they build their capability. And those are patterns that you can use as you try to build your own capability. So I look forward to sharing this research with you. And of course, all the Capgemini people who are our research partners in this will be sharing it with you too. We have reports. We've got all kinds of other interesting materials to help you get started on your journey. So this concept of the, the DNA of, of digital leaders, of digital pioneer is very important because for the first time it gives us a feel for how you actually conduct your digital transformation successfully. Uh, there are big lessons in terms of focus, in terms of leveraging your assets and your capabilities and big lessons in how these companies are able to also change their business model. In terms of transformation, I think there are really four steps. I mean, the first step obviously is to try to understand your own maturity, uh, you know, what is the art of the possible in your particular company, in your particular industry, and in particular aligning the top team uh, we, did, we did put a lot of emphasis on the leadership component of, of successful digital transformation and aligning the top team around this vision uh, is extremely important. 
The second, as we uh, as we mentioned, was really to focus the investment and make sure that we understand where we're starting this transformation based on existing uh, assets of the company, be it uh, at the customer experience end uh, as a starting point, at the operation end, at the analytics end, and so on and so forth. So really focus the investment as a starting point with a very clear roadmap. The third part of the transformation is really about engaging the organization at scale. We talked about um, governance, which is absolutely critical to leverage the, the true financial performance of this transformation, uh, but also the engagement of the workforce uh, at scale, meaning crowdsourcing your, the people that have got the knowledge within the organization, communicating largely uh, about the progress and, and the vision, and really moving the organization in sync with the, with the vision uh, around the transformation. And lastly, like all transformation, uh, digital transformation needs to be monitored. Uh, there are ways to measure that. There are scorecards we can build to measure progress. And it allows uh, companies to really not only measure the progress from a financial perspective, but also iterate and change course if need be. So very important that this is a continuum uh, and that people are able to do that. So these four components seems to us as being really the biggest part of what a proper transformation looks like.